Hi guys, it's Panther Sam back in another video. And today I'm going to be um saying what I think the Odell Beckham and Cam Newton workout that happened yesterday might have an impact on their futures in their teams in the NFL, in my opinion. Before we get into that, I know I got a haircut, which I know it's a lot shorter than it was earlier, so it's Better, at least in my opinion, for now. It's a little bit shorter than I'd like, but it'll grow back, and I probably won't get another one for a while. So, yep, I got the new haircut, and let's get right into the video. So, today, so I think that Odo Beckham, keep in mind, this is all opinion, not facts, and I haven't seen any rumors of anything I'm going to say online quite yet, but there might be while I'm filming this video. But I'm just saying, I could see Odo Beckham getting traded to either, to the, getting traded to the Patriots and then Cam Newton signing as a quarterback because they were working out yesterday, which means they might be trying to get their chemistry up because they're going to be on the same team of the Pats since I know Odell is not the happiest in Cleveland and probably and he wants to get traded. And I think that could be a good team because Cam will have Edelman and Beckham as his two wide receivers. And that defense in New England is still pretty good. I know they lost some people, but it's still good overall. It probably won't be the best this year like it was last year, but I don't know. Belichick, I don't know. He could probably, he might find a way to make it the best defense, even without all those best players and all that. But, so I could see that happening, or I could see, um, Odell getting traded to the Ravens and Cam signing as a backup. This one I think is a lot more unlikely, this scenario, because, because, um, the Browns I don't think would want to trade Odell, a really good wide receiver to a, division rival in the Ravens, especially their biggest, at, I would say right now, because they're the best in the AFC North. And then if he did get traded, then that means they would have Hollywood Brown, Odell Beckham, and possibly Antonio Brown, the Ravens, because Antonio Brown is now has like a clean, if he can keep a clean record, teams I think are going to be more likely to sign him now because he's out of all of his legal troubles. And um, I think the Ravens would be the best spot for Antonio Brown because his cousin's there and I think his cousin will be able to keep him in check and be like like tell him not to do stuff and get mad at Lamar and all that because his cousin will be there and I think they have a, I would I hope they would have a good relationship I would think so not 100% sure about that but I would think they would have a good relationship and he'd be able to keep him like toned down and all that which would be good for him and then Cam could just sign as the backup so if anything happens to Lamar during the season Cam will be there just to make sure that Lamar gets hurt or whatever, Cam could step in, and he's a very similar quarterback scrambling. Yeah, he's not always the smartest scrambler, and that's why he's not getting signed because he has so many injuries, but maybe the Ravens can teach him to be smarter scrambling and, like, slide some more or something. I don't know. But, yeah, those are my two theories I could see with Odell getting traded, either to the Ravens or the Pats. Might be somewhere else. Let me know down in the comments below what you think is going to happen with Odell. Is he going to stay in Cleveland, which is very likely, or is he going to go to one get traded somewhere? Might even get traded to the 49ers because 49ers lost Emmanuel Sanders, their best wide receiver they had last year. And yes, they still have Debo, but I don't think they want Debo to be number one so they could get Odell to be number one, Debo number two. Give give Jimmy G some more weapons to try to go back to the Super Bowl with George Kittle as well. That could be a good. That could be another super. That could be another Super Bowl contending team and possibly even win. I don't know though because the NFC is going to be really good. With the Saints are always have been good the last few years. They've just always some, somehow messed up in the playoffs or the rest messed them up. But, and I think you guys know what I mean by it. the rest messed them up, a.k.a. the uh, no-call pass interference against the Rams in the NFC Championship. But, yeah, I just think that's what's going to happen. We'll have to see what ends up happening, if he just stays or gets traded somewhere. But we'll see. I'm excited for this season. I hope you guys are as well. Hopefully we have a season. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the month. And we're currently sitting at 88. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you guys haven't already, go check out the gaming channel. I'll put a link right here. And thank you guys for watching the video and for the support on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.